Hello, this is Leach 83 here we do. Welcome to episode 17 of season 2 Celtics Road to European Cup and we've got another interesting episode in front of us here where we have a game against Inverness Cali at home in the league and then the return leg of our game against Juventus in the Champions League quarterfinals before and then we have our semi-final in the Scottish Cup against Ross County so a bit of an important um, couple of games to come up here in April um, and then it'll be into the league split after these fixtures which isn't too bad at all almost there for this season um, and everything is looking good so let's get into the game against Inverness Cali then um, as again we are at home and it's a changed team again like a kind of second string team if you like um, with some of the players just needing a little break from their midweek game and it's just to give them time to recover before we play UV again. So this game will be Julian Nett with Lustig, Duffy, Simnovic and Tierney at the back with Scott Brown in the middle with Grealish, Desar and McGregor and then up front Emnes and J. Emmanuel Thomas. Um, so we'll be able to see how the team go in this one. As we are sitting 12 points clear in the league we're pretty comfortable with that but we just want to obviously keep up a good run um, at the moment. So let's see how we go. Lustig playing it forward for Cairn Tierney. He's got Grealish out wide. Jack Grealish a chance to work into the box. Manuel Thomas. Good shot and good save. Well, that was a disappointing game to be fair. Uh, not taking advantage of a couple of chances that we had. And it is a 0-0 draw. Um, just one of those games we just didn't feel right at all. Um, and possibly just due to the changes to the team. But that's just one of those things. But anyway, we've got the more important matter of the game against uh, Juventus to look forward to. We'll revert back to our kind of first team. Um, so let's get the team sorted out for it. Well, I reject this offer to become uh, Bolivia's head coach. So as I say, get the team ready and we'll come back with a Juventus game. Okay, so here we are ready for the return leg then against Juventus. Obviously one each from the previous leg so we are up on away goals at the moment and we are going with Gordon in net with Yanko Boyata, Chester and Santos at the back with Scott Allen in the middle with S.Y. McLean and Rogic completing the midfield and then up front uh, Anika Nacho and Martin Braithwaite so this is the team up against a very very strong Juventus side let's see how we go Santos playing it to Scott Allen. Terrific shot rattle on the bar early start. Into injury time now and Juventus going all for it. It's still nil nil. Buffon in the box for this corner. If we clear it, we're through. Ball into the box. Gordon takes. Run down the clock a little bit. Kicks it out and it's all over. We've managed to do it. We managed to hold on. Kept Juventus out. And that will do us nicely. It's a one all. Uh, on aggregate victory away and we're through on away goals easy for me to say if I can get all that the right way around but anyway we progress into the Champions League semi-finals on away goals and that will do nicely we had to defend like hell in that game uh, but we managed to do it we had a nice early shot which Scott Allen had um, managed to keep UV down to like just possession more than anything else and that did, uh, did, did the treat and that's exactly what we needed. So we progress in the Champions League, who would have believed it? Um, and we will be up against probably a big gun from the next one. It'll be, um, I think, Barcelona, Real Madrid are still in it. So I think on our side of the draw, um, it's going to be PSG, I think. Um, the last time we were at this side and then it swapped around about, I think we would be against PSG next game. Or we could be facing the likes of Bayern Munich or Barcelona. Um, so three very big scary teams still in the tournament. Um, so let's see, we'll obviously see who we come up against when the fixture gets announced. Let's see if I can have a look. It's actually Bayern Munich, see what I mean about the draw change in the other way. Um, so we'll have Bayern Munich to look forward to in the semi-finals uh, once we eventually get there. But back to matters at hand, we will be facing Ross County. Um, in the semi-finals of the Scottish Cup now um, from a big, a big massive game to yeah, another kind of biggish game um, but hopefully we'll do okay so get the team ready as always for that and then we'll see how we progress in that game okay so just about ready to get into this game against Ross County then in the Scottish Cup now as you've seen there when, we, when I was looking at the fixtures you can see the post 
um, split fixtures have been announced and we've got Motherwell at home, um, Hearts away, Kilmarnock at home um, and then Dundee United and then the final game of the season is at home to Aberdeen um, but obviously in between that the two important games against um, Bayern Munich which should be interesting in itself. Now I've had um, a quick, a kind of quick look about how the team and how we're going to fare over this next period of time. And um, what I've decided to do is kind of play or change squad again for this game against Ross County. But then after the game against Ross County, we'll be playing a lot of the youth and a lot of the strength players um, in the last matches in the in the league. Um, so I, I will leave it up to you guys, and you can let me know in the comment section down below whether we should simulate the rest of the league matches and focus primarily on the Champions League or whether we should just keep the series going as normal so you can let me know in the comment section down below which we should do anyway back to this game which is obviously the semi-final against Ross County we get Julian in net, Lustig, Duffy, Novovic and Tierney at the back Brown, Desai, Grealish, McGregor and then Jeremiah Thomas and, Sa and um, Marvin Emnes up front so we'll see how we go against County and hopefully can progress to the final of the Scottish Cup Corner for is almost 23 minutes played. McGregor, good save. And it's put in by Mikhail Lustig. That'll do nicely. It is 1 0. And we take advantage of a bit of luck there to make the breakthrough in this semi final. Nice header. Keeper did well, but farmed it right to Lustig. And he can't miss from there. 1 0. Quillish finding McGregor. Playing it in to Emmanuel Thomas. Turn and shot. And that'll do nicely. 2 0. The big man taking advantage of his chance. All from the throw in there. Grealish, nice ball. McGregor playing it through and a lovely turn and shot. That will do for 2 0. Ryan Christie on as a substitute playing it through to Emmanuel Thomas. Sweats it. And then there's finishes, not a problem. Nice little cutback. 3 0. Easy peasy. Ryan Christie playing it through to Emmanuel Thomas. Don't know why Ross County are attacking so much. And Emmanuel Thomas makes it 4 0. He's not going to miss those type of chances. Big man can finish well in the box. As I say, don't know why County are pushing so forward on attack. But I'll take advantage of every chance I can. And that's 4 0. Well, that'll do nicely. A comfortable victory in the end. 4 0. Uh, pretty easy when a team that's got no chance of a comeback start attacking the way they did. Um, but I'll take that every day of the week. And like, again, this time we've actually turned our chances into goals. Um, with Jim Emmanuel Thomas getting two of them, which was nice. So, progress in both cup competitions and sitting comfortably in the league. Um, so, we'll end this episode here. After these games in this episode, we've done pretty well. Um, as I said before, the Ross County games, if you want me to change the team completely and change how we've been doing the episodes and just simulate the league matches, then you can let me know in the comment section down below. Um, if you, or if you would rather we just kept it at the same format, um, then that's perfectly fine. You can let me know what your what your prefer preference is for that. But anyway, that's going to end this episode. Hope you have enjoyed. If you have, then drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.